anytime you want to create a new document in Photoshop or a project, you press on Ctrl N and you select the document dimensions instead of going to File, then New. Or whenever you want to open a new document or you want to open a picture in Photoshop, you press on Ctrl O and then you select the picture to be imported instead of going to File, Open. By the way, if you did not know these two keyboard shortcuts, then they are bonus for you. So today, you are going to learn 10 additional keyboard shortcuts to be used in Photoshop to speed up your workflow. I will encourage you to save this video to watch later. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Whenever you are working on a particular project in Photoshop, it is advisable for you to group your layers for easy identification and correction. For this, the shortcut for grouping, which is the first shortcut on the list, is Ctrl plus G. So let me demonstrate that for you to see using these five test layers here. So to select all of them, this one is selected. You press and hold on Shift on the keyboard, and then you click on the last one, and everything will be selected. And you use your shortcut, that is Ctrl plus G, to group all of them. After that, head over to the group, double click on it, and then you can change the name. So now I'm gonna change the name to Main Test. Enter to save the name. With the second shortcut, for instance, I have this mockup here and I want to use this mockup to present this design. Instead of me to save this design in JPEG or PNG and import it into the mockup, I won't do that because that is a lot of work. I will rather make sure that the first layer in the layers panel, which here is the main test, that is the group located earlier. And then you press on Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. And this is going to merge all the layers as one, making it as a JPEG file or a PNG. And afterwards, I can just import this one straight into my mockup and use it. Is that not simple? Let me know in the comment section. And again, this shortcut is helpful when you want to apply a camera roll filter on your entire design, be it texture, clarity, and others. Just use the shortcut to merge them to get this layer like that. And afterwards, you go to filter, camera roll filter and here you add any adjustment you like let me add more exposure more texture more clarity i'm just using this to show you something press on ok so now the effect has been applied to all the elements in the design before after clipping mask is widely used in most designs and with that the only method you may be familiar with when it comes to creating a clipping mask is you make sure the first layer is selected you right click and then you click on create clipping mask and maybe you position it into the shape but there is a very simple and easy way you can apply clipping mask and that is you press and hold on alt on the keyboard and then you bring your mouse pointer you see it is a hand so when it turns to that square and an arrow down you click on it like this and then the clipping mask will be applied i have a full video guide on advanced application of clipping mask i will leave the link in the description for you to watch that as well the fourth shortcut is about controlling the view of your project let me show you what i mean by that using this particular project so i want to zoom in to see this design here clearly what i will do is that i'll press on control and i'll add the plus button so control plus 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 like so now use my mouse button together with the control to adjust the view like this and now here is it if you want to zoom out you you use control and minus minus and if you want to zoom to fit screen it's also control zero so with this three shortcut you can easily move around your design and do some necessary corrections as fast as possible the next on the list is how you can save your project faster in photoshop there are a lot of ways of saving files or projects in photoshop but with this one all that you have to do is to press on ctrl plus shift plus x and then this window is going to pop up and you select the file type you want to save your project in sometimes when you press on this part you see just a few document type to choose from when you see that don't worry i have a video in the description on how you can solve that problem get this whole list of file formats and that video comprises of everything you need to know about the save as command so i'll put the link in the description when it comes to colors in design we have two main categories namely rgb and cymt the rgb which simply means red green and blue is used for designing for screen on the other hand cymt is used for designing for print media so when you are working on a project where the client would like to print and also share it on a digital space you have to choose colors that will work for both media when you are working on a project like this and let's say you want to preview the design in cymt you just press on ctrl y and this is going 
to change the entire design to CYMK mode then control Y again to bring it back to RGB. Note that this shortcut is just for previewing in the other color mode other than the original one used in the design. What that means is that if you are originally designing in RGB and you want to preview in CYMK to see how it looks like when it is printed, this is where you must use the shortcut. However, if you want to change the entire design to CYMK so that when you save it, it will be seen as CYMK colors, then you head over to image to mode and then you change the color mode to CYMK color as simple as that. Working with projects where you need to use the brush tool or the eraser tool or any other tool that behaves like them, you don't need to stress yourself in opening this small window before you change the hardness or the size of the brush. All you need is the square bracket on the keyboard. So you use the left square bracket to reduce the size of the brush and then the right square bracket to increase the size of the brush. And also for the hardness, press and hold on shift on the keyboard and you use the same square bracket to reduce the hardness and to increase the hardness. So let me show you. I'm using the left square bracket to reduce the hardness to very soft. Yeah, this is a very soft brush. And then I'm going to use the hard brush. So I have to press and hold on the shift key and use the right square bracket to increase the hardness to a very hard brush. And that is this. When you want to bring a layer from the bottom or any part of the list to the top of all the layers, you don't have to do that manually. Just make sure that the layer is selected in the layers panel and press on Ctrl Shift and add the right square bracket. And this is going to push the layer on top of all the layers. When you want to bring a layer on top to the very bottom, do the same thing. So you press on Ctrl Shift and this time around, you don't use the right square bracket but you use the left square bracket. That is Ctrl Shift left square bracket and going to go down to the very bottom the reason why this layer did not separate this one is because this layer is locked let me demonstrate that for you to see so let me unlock it by clicking on it and now control shift left button it has gone down to the very bottom let me demonstrate to you how this shortcut works when the layer is in a group so over here i have this layer called ac specialist and this ac specialist is in a group called top vg and i want to move this ac specialist to the top of all the layers what i'll do is that i'll press on control shift Shift, then the right square bracket and as you can see it gets shifted on top of all the layers in the group so if you want to feather it to on top of all the layers you repeat that step again that is control shift right square bracket and that's going to send the layer on top of all the layers levels can be used to adjust color balance tone and exposure of an image so to apply that to for instance this image all that you need to do is to press on ctrl l and then this window pops up and when it pops up you use this area to adjust the brightness and the tone of the picture like so if you want to learn more about this to check the video description for video on that it is just a one minute video i will put the link down below in the description then you press on ok when you are done and i think that is better so before after that's great there are a lot of ways of duplicating layers in photoshop but the easiest and the fastest way you can duplicate a layer in photoshop is by using the shortcut ctrl plus j you can also use this shortcut to duplicate a group so now i have this group here called main test so i'll just use ctrl plus j to duplicate the group so now as you can see we have main text and then main test copy as the duplicate when you begin to use these shortcuts, you may be fumbling a little bit, but once you get the hang of using them, you will work more within a very short time. If you want to learn more shortcuts to speed up your workflow, just click the video on the screen. Until next time, quench not your creativity. Peace.